Ah, good old Yu-Gi-Oh! The modern game is pretty fun, and so is progressing through all the old competitive formats. But that's not really how a lot of people experience the game, is it? Now, for me, nothing beats the chaotic excitement of Playground Yu-Gi-Oh!, where the ban list is whatever your friends don't like, and the decks are all barely functioning jank. Here on this show, that's what we're gonna try and recreate. I'm Hardleg Joe, and each episode, me and MBT will open 75 packs, one from each core set. From each of those packs, we'll get to pick just one card to keep. And with those, we'll build our decks and face off in a best of three with dire consequences. The loser of each episode will get to ban one card of their choice and claim a few bonus packs for the next duel. The winner will get a shiny chaos coin. Nearly useless on its own, but the first duelist to ten coins wins the entire series. Each episode, we'll get more packs, slowly growing our collections as we evolve from random caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! to more modern strategies and combos. And there may be a few bonus surprises along the way. <laughs> this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, Season 2. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Chaos Draft Season 2. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, now with a fancy webcam. And joining me today, my co-host for this season, Mr. Joseph Rothschild, a.k.a. MBT. I appreciate the introduction. You can call me co-host all you want, but after this round, you're going to be calling me daddy. I'm going to kick your teeth in, buddy. And uh, I am actually super excited not only to play this with you, but also to show you the power of the deck that I've put together. I, I seriously think it's unbeatable. I, I am I am curious to see it. I my pools did uh did not go all that all that well. I have a very jank deck, and uh, yeah, th these first episodes are always weird. They have that uh, Legend of Blue Eyes quality, the Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. Except with shit from uh, all over the 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 the, uh, the sets and everything. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I tended to pretty much just discount all of the early sets. <laughs> you know, in Magic Ruler, you want to pull like Snatch Steel. In Lob, you want to pull Pot of Greed. Uh. But if you fail to do so, what are you gonna play Spear Cretan in 2021? <laughs> like I don't think so. I mean, for the first episode. But anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We should go ahead to the pack openings first. Show you all what we picked, what we got. We've got 75 packs plus five bonus packs of Dark Beginning. I'll see you in the duel zone. Well, well, well. It is time for a friendly challenge from one Joe to another. But I must warn you, Hardleg, you will not get off so easily this season. I'm here to win, and I'm going to humiliate you in the process. If you're unfamiliar with me, my name is MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. You may recall me from a couple of deck build challenges in which I absolutely slaughtered Hardleg. I'm here to do it again, and you're all gonna watch like the sick, depraved monsters you are. But before we can do that, we have to open some packs. Now let's go to Dark Beginning. And we're going to open five packs of Dark Beginning at the very beginning. So that we can have a core upon which we will build our deck. You see, Mr. Hardleg, this time you will be playing not only against myself, but also the collective wisdom of my following. Behold, the hive mind of chat! Okay, chat, here's where you say something intelligent. What do you have for me? Anything. Anything at all. Among Us. Oh, God, maybe this was a bad idea. Okay, five packs of Dark Beginning 1. Now, if you're unfamiliar, we get to pick one card from each of these packs to add to our collection permanently. Let's see what we've got. Fairy's Hand Mirror, Backup Soldier, Tornado Wall, United We Stand, Return of the Doomed, Nuvia the Wicked, Hitatsumi Giant, Shining Angel, Hero Shadow Scout, and Amoeba. So all these cards are PP ass butt. However, Shining Angel and United We Stand are kind of crazy. United We Stand specifically is definitely good in limited formats. Yeah, we will definitely be picking this one. This is, this is the pick from here. Now for pack two. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, Hardleg is so fucked. He's fucked out of the starting gate! Oh wow! Thousand eyes restrict! Holy shit a moly! So unfortunately, that's that's not it. That's that's not gonna be it. That's not the pick. Uh as much as I want Thousand Eyes Restrict, it turns out that Oh, you know what? It probably is. No, it's 100% Restrict. Mirror Wall and Messenger of Peace are really, really good individual cards, but Instant Fusion is super available from a ton of different sets. So we're going to pick Thousand Eyes Restrict, and then later we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to bop him with it. This one's crazy too. Wow, Dark Beginning 1 is a terribly powerful set. So, as much as I like all these cards, it's definitely Giant Trunade. It's 100% Giant Trunade, and it's not close. All right, let's go again. Ooh, wow, I like a lot of these. So, Spellbinding Circle is, of course, extremely strong. Uh, I actually also like Upstart Goblin, just a way to play fewer garbage cards. Uh, what, what do you all think? Upstart Goblin or Spellbinding Circle? Yeah, we'll go with Upstart. Pack number four here. What the fuck are the odds? What are the odds, buddy? Never tell me the odds. There's no way we're playing 2,000 Eyes Restrict. 0% chance we're playing 2,000 Eyes Restrict. It'd be so bad. We have to play Rush Recklessly. Rush Recklessly is the pick here, for sure. And the fifth one. Ooh, yeah, I already know what I'm picking out of this set. Uh, it's got to be the Dust Tornado. Uh, the ability to destroy spells and traps, especially early, uh, it's pretty hard to come by. Uh, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! is written by people who just owned Mystical Space Typhoon, and now I get to be one of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Season 2 of the Duel Zone, wherein I open 75 packs, starting with Legends of Blue Eyes. Will we start this off with a staple pot of greed, perhaps? No. No, it doesn't look like... We got a Hain Hain. Hain Hain's not bad for, like, the first episode or so. So there's that. Well, I mean, that's uh, that's Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon for you. I don't fucking know. Skull Red Bird is, like, the best card in the set. And if we were playing LOB Sealed, I'd be happy about that. I think I'm picking Frenzy... I'm, I'm picking Spirit of the Harp. You know what? Actually, let's pick Skull Servant. It's funny. Veronic Guardians. Okay. Ooh, Deslakota. Ooh, Spirit Reaper. Yep, we gotta go with Spirit Reaper. It is entirely possible that MBT has zero outs to this in the first <laughs> in the first episode. Maybe even the second episode. Although Gravekeeper's Guard, pretty nice as well. But I think I gotta go for the Spirit Reaper. We're gonna go old school style Yu-Gi-Oh. Gotta have that in there. Just give me one broken thing. We have yet to pull anything extremely broken. Just one broken card. One broken card. Fuck! Ah... Uh... Yes. Uh, Granadora is okay. Chain Disappearance maybe has some uh, some interactions. I think Gigantes is the pick. Okay, Rise of Destiny. Back to square one. Very powerful. Nightmare Penguin. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a Nightmare Penguin. This is something that could be played for several times. Just sending something back to the hand. Why not? The next one is Ancient Sanctuary. This is good. This is a fantastic set. Yeah. So Gear Goal in the Moving Fortress is a pretty powerful defensive wall, and I don't think there's going to be a lot of removal. Knight Assailant is extremely good. It's, uh, it's removal. Flaming Eternity. Let's see. Feather of the Phoenix. What does this do again? I don't quite remember. Discard one tard. Target one card in the graveyard. Return it to the top of your deck. Okay, it recycles something. Um, Rescue Cat. Oops, that's the wrong way. Oh, you can send this for the graveyard. Two level beasts. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any beast. I don't have that. I think we might want to go for Golem Sentry. Just because it's got 1800 defense and I can also return stuff to the hand. I've got a couple return to the hand things. Yeah, I think I'll go with that for now. I'm not planning to get a bunch of beasts. There's not really any good beast archetypes, you know? Even if I wanted to, like, save this up for later, what, what am I going to play with it? All right, next up is Soul of the Duelist. Let's see what we pull from this set. Jesus Christ, double unshaven angler. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I think that might be the pick. Abyssal Designator is, like, maybe the worst removal spell ever printed, but it is a removal spell, so I think I'm picking that. Cybernetic Revolution. A uh, whole bunch of nothing. Just a big nothing pile. 
Drillroid or Steamroid? This can deal with face downs. This has a lot of attack. Uh, given that this is the first episode, I think we're going to go with the Drillroid. Rise of Destiny, come on. We're almost at a DM, and I have nothing terribly powerful to uh, to to show for it. Uh, back to square one's removal. I'll pick that. Shadow of Infinity. What do we got here? Uh, chainsaw Insect? Sure, why not? See, they just didn't want me to open this pack because it's too powerful. That's it. Oh, holy shit. It actually is. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Macro Cosmos every day of the week. That's going to massively come in handy. Power of the Duelist. What kind of power do you have, Duelist? We got uh, Alien Grey. We got Cosmic Horror Gongriel. I think I'm just going to go for the biggest defense wall possible. I'm definitely not getting Chrysalis Dolphin. Okay, Light of Destruction. Listen, whoever is just shuffling the packs at YGO Pro Deck, I just want to talk, baby. I just want to talk. Send me your home address. I just want to talk. I just want to I just want to kill you. I just want you dead. Oh, this is an interesting one. So Charger is a very good card. Y'all like Jane? You think Jane's the pick? Yeah, sure. Raging Battle. I'm a raging Cajun. Well, there's a dragon and no zombies. Does this dragon do anything, perhaps? Send one dragon and it gains 300 attack. If it's sent to the graveyard, you could target a dragon normal and special summon it. It's not great, but it's 1700 and it has dragon support, so let's do it. Crossroads of Chaos. Okay, we are... Um... Hmm. This is a thinker. Psychic Life Transfer is just like a good synchro. I think I'm pretty good picking that. None of these other cards are really exciting. Absolute Power Force. Um, Inverse Universe, that switches the attack and defense of stuff. I think that's probably the best, unless one of these other two does something. I don't think so. Uh, send two cards while your opponent has 3,000 or more life points. Inflict 2,000. No. Um, if it would inflict damage, it inflicts to theirs. No. Yeah, I'll take Inner Universe. That'd be a fun battle trick. Crimson Crisis! This is a crisis of a deck opening. Hell yes! Let's fucking go. Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. A card that's actually worth playing. Holy shit. Duelist Revolution. Let's revolutionize some things, Duelist. Let's, uh, weep because there's no dragons or anything. What, what, what does this do? Blind Spot Strike? Select a faced-up defense position and attack position. The monster you control gains attack equal to the monster's defense. Um... And that's actually might not be too bad in this, especially with everything else we've got here. Warriors and Amazonas and all that stuff. Although Stronghold Guardian is funny, but defense position monster is <laughs> attacked. You can send this during the damage step. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for this. This will be funnier. No one expects hand traps in the first episode. DM rules. Okay, Raging Battle. There's got to be something in here. Trap's done. Who? Oh, Shura! Oh my god, wait, chat. Are we just building Black Wings? Fuck, Whirlwind's in here too. Whirlwind's never going to work out, but Shura definitely will. Storm of Ragnarok. We got another another six samurai. We've got Tiki Kirsch. Is this the one with uh, 1800 attack or 1800 defense? This one has the attack. And um, if another trap monster, okay. Yeah, it's either that or what is Kage Mu Oops, I didn't even open Kage Musha. Uh, what does that do? During either player's turn, when one samurai is targeted by a spell trap. Um, yeah, and we don't really have access to the synchro anyway, so let's go for Tiki Curse. Uh, well, there's our super, Scrap Storm. Jesus Christ. This is okay, I think. Cosmo Blazer. We're blazing our way downtown, doing stuff, and I've got no kitty cat. Uh, garbage. All garbage. I've been dice nied. What can I say? What is a spear shark? Increase the level of all fish type by one. It's a 1600 piercer. Um, I think that's the highest attack of the ones I've got here, so we'll take it for that reason alone. All right, Star Strike Blast. I mean, my my expectations at this point are pretty much zero. I'll take anything. Oh, Swift Scarecrow might be good. I'll take Swift Scarecrow. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Will I get myself a water type dragon ruler? Yes, yes, I will. 
Hey, that's pretty nice. Looks like we're going for water stuff after all, baby. Generation force. All right, I'm going to generate a, a new force for fish and swaps. Fuck me. All right, uh, none of these cards are any good whatsoever. Um, go, 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 golem maybe sets me up for a synchro play. That's decent. Judgment of the light. You can't judge me. Ooh, we got all sorts of all sorts of Ixie monsters. I don't think any of them are playable, but we'll only know by reading them. All right, it looks like this is probably the best. It's it's not good, but um, literally nothing else here is good. So I think I'm gonna go for that one. Judgment of the light. Now we will judge how fucking terrible the. Oh my god. Okay, uh, there's some interesting stuff in here, actually. Um, Swartchild Limit Dragon is funny because uh, it's got the same name as me. Let's see what this looks like. It's just a free special. It's like a cyber dragon. I think it's okay. Shark Caesar. This card is just really hard to out, but it's, um, it's three level threes. It seems unlikely. The Atmosphere is like a fun build around. Let's try the Atmosphere. Duelist Alliance, all right. Cloud Castle, nice. Hey, we're finally getting our first super heavy samurais. I said I was going to try to build these. When this is normal summoned, you can change its battle position. It can't be destroyed by battle. It can't be destroyed by battle. Stallfest, here we come. Return of the Duelist, I'm going to return back my money. Holy hell. Uh, mm, this this actually has some good cards in it. So, Gear Geek Accelerator is decent. Block Golem, I remember being okay. Sis Hunter, maybe? Impenetrable Attack is also pretty strong. Yeah, Impenetrable Attack for sure. Secrets of Eternity. Tell me your secrets. Ooh. Nothing. We've got Donkey. I think I'm going to go for Soul Strike. If I remember, this is a neat but often not going to work battle trap that might just work in this first episode. Primal Origin. I'm going to go Primal when I... or <sighs> what the fuck is Avalon? Oh, Veil's crazy. Yo, it's absolutely Veil. The new challengers. Ooh, ah, what are we going to challenge? Hey, Scales. This is nice. This is, um, I just got done playing Super Heavy Samurai, so I know when you summon this, you could summon another Samurai out of the graveyard. So with the level four we just got, this is a, a rank four. Of course, we don't have any rank fours to get, but if we do, now now we now we have something. All right, new challengers, baby. Let's go. Beep, 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 beep. Oh my God, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So Ruffian Rail Car is a really funny card. Uh, Cannon the Melodious Diva, I think is okay. Whoa, whoa. Punch in the box is such a blowout. Oh, Fluffle Leo's crazy, too. It's Punch in the Box. Crossed Souls. Here we go. Ooh, Statue of Anguish Pattern, but also Deskbot 4 A tough choice. We did get another Trap Monster early on, but I always wanted to build Deskbots. They're one of those things that's, like, spread out through the set, so if there's a chance of getting them, like, that the, the, you can do it. Granted, I never did last time. So let's try Statue of Anguish Pattern. I'll see if I can find any more trap monsters along the way. This is what I'm talking about. Quaking Mirror Force. Oh, he'll be quaking in his boots when he sees this Mirror Force. Invasion colon Vengeance. Ooh, Dynamiscus. Oh, but a super heavy samurai. <laughs> I can't make it yet. And Dynamiscus is going, I need, I need the removal. I can't, I can't pass up an opportunity like this to take this kind of removal. I'm sorry, Saratobi, even though you were rare. I may never get another chance, but I, I need that banish. Oh, wait, do I have to banish a, um... No, it's just discard one card. Okay, yeah, we're taking that. Okay, I remember this set fondly, and hopefully it remembers me fondly. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, can okay, don't tell Hardleg. No one tell Hardleg. We're just going to take this entire pack. Fuck a Magic Raider. Fuck a Pharaonic Guardian. This entire pack is just getting added to our set. Wow. What the hell is the pick? So, I, I'll just let you know what's on my mind. Um, I think Dora's a trap. Fairy Tail Snow is crazy. Gofu is crazy. Oleonades is crazy. I think it's Snow... 
Gofu is a one card Link 3. It's a one card Link 3. Snow is just so searchable, though, and it's Book of Moon. Oh, man. Gofu, ugh, all these are commons. Ugh, Gofu is so strong. And we have Black Wings already. I'm going to go Snow. I'm going to go Snow. I've lost enough games to this card to know that it's so crazy. Maximum Crisis. Uh, we got a bird and we got a hammer Kong. Ooh, sub terrors. I always wanted to make these. It never worked out that well, but let's go ahead and try it. Okay, maximum crisis. Let's see that pacifist the phantasm city. Everything but the fucking pacifist. Thank you so much. Power assault grip. We'll get packed someday. Uh, for the time being, Princess Sprite seems pretty good. Uh, hammer Kong is definitely decent. Let's just load up on zoos for these packs. Extreme Force! The Extreme! Ooh, Ghost uh, ghost Bird of Bewitchment. I got this late in the uh, the series, in the first season, and uh, this, this is actually better than it looks, especially if I can use it earlier on, and we got nothing else anyway. Although, actually, this is a zombie. Wait, uh, if this is in the graveyard, you could banish another zombie, special summon it. Uh, ritual, yeah, it's a Vendred, though, which are, like, the worst zombies. I think I'd rather take the bird, to be honest. All right, Extreme Force. Oh, it's over. It's over. We win. It's over. We win. Anyone here ever play this, uh, sealed format? Anyone here ever play Extreme Force sealed format? Anyone? Anyone ever play this uh, sealed format? No, you didn't? All right, let me introduce you to the greatest card ever printed. World Legacy World Shield is unaffected by activated effects from any monster special summoned from the extra deck. Your opponent can't target any cards in this card's column, including itself, with card effects. Can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And you can special summon it from your graveyard for a thousand life points. This card is literally unbeatable if you get it to your side of the field. Savage Strike. No Boral Load Savage Dragon. We didn't get a Guru. We have a Guru and we have the uh, the Fiendus. <laughs> so we're doing pretty good. This is zombie support, but I don't think this is very good zombie support. Special summon a zombie from your hand. Banish it when it leaves the field. Target a zombie you control. It's unaffected by card effects. That's actually pretty good, but we've got the Fiendus and the Guru. Let's try to do that and see how it works. All right, we are getting dangerously close to the end of the pulls, and I don't think I have enough monsters to actually do anything. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh, we are going to blow hard legs back walls out. Oh my god, it's time for you to feel the fucking strength of the time thieves. Rising Rampage. Full tester, my old friend. Is this the one that can just special summon itself? Opponent controls more monsters than you. Special summon this from your hand. You can only special summon once per turn. Place three counters. It can't. Yep, I think we're going to go for that. Nothing else that particularly fits with us. Fuma Wave. That's something to do with zombies, right? Target one monster on the field. Destroy one monster with the same attribute but a different name. Interesting, but not quite. I think I'm going to pick Draw Hand. Draw Hand is maybe a four. And now that we have like a crazy payoff in Redoer... Getting just general fours on our side of the field that recur themselves is probably good enough. You all want me to take Muddy? No. Ignition Assault. Uh, we got a Link Party. We got an Abominable Unchained Soul. Best generic boss monster this thing can make. We're taking that. No questions asked. Chaos Impact. Holy shit. We are really getting to the end here. Beep, 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 Gizmek Yada's very good. Yeah, Gizmek Yada's crazy. Y'all want me to play Hoppier Squadron? No. It's gotta be it gotta be Gizmek. World Legacy Assembly for Shield. Yo! Holy shit! Who said this? Who said this in chat, World Reassembly for Shield? Who said that? Ajeb222? Congratulations, buddy, you're a VIP. Whoa! That was so cool! Eternity Code! I believe this is the last main set. And we got the, the, the Cataclysmic Water Girl. I don't think we've got enough waters to make it work, but we've got some waters. So we might as well try to make it work. The other thing is, what's this? Scraptron? 
That's specifically Cybers, which is not going to work very well. Uh, let me read the rest of these real quick. Because again, we have water monsters, so maybe one of these works. I just aren't it, not aware of it. Okay, so actually, after reading through stuff, this Marincess card is not that bad. And I've been seeing a lot of Marincess throughout, throughout everything when we've been opening these. And I always just passed over them. So I think in addition to trying to get the Super Heavy Samurais, I might try to collect Marincess as part of, like, a general water strategy. We'll see. I always, I always start out the first episode with, like, eight different strategies, and then we always kind of narrow it down by episode two or three. But we're, we're going to start with that. Okay, Eternity Code. Here we go. Yo! Holy shit! These are some crazy fucking cards. Okay, so it's probably Buzzsaw Shark. Uh, I'm just not exactly sure. Do we have a fish monster that's a level 4? Regardless, we're picking this, and then we're just going to be on the, the uh, lookout for fishes. And that was our Eternity Code, but we're actually not done. We're actually not opening 75 packs. We're opening 80 packs. In addition to the regular core sets, every episode I will pick one reprint set, and we'll get five bonus packs of that reprint set. Same rules as before, you can only pick one card from each, but hopefully this should give us access to a lot of the rare cards that we normally don't have access to just because of how rare they are. In this case, since we're in like DM style Yu-Gi-Oh, it's five packs of Dark Beginning 1, which is like a reprint set of all the old like Yu-Gi-Oh staples. So you open this, for example, we've got like Gravity Bind, we've got Mystic Tomato, Armed Dragon, Mask of Darkness. Um, some pretty neat stuff. What is Mask of Accursed? Ooh, sorry for that white there for a second. Um, inflict 500 to the equip monster. It doesn't stop it from doing anything though. Hmm. As tempting as it is to get the Mystic Tomato, I think I've kind of avoided a lot of dark monsters. Uh, mostly going for like, I guess the super heavy samurais are earth and water. I'm gonna go for the Mask of Darkness on pack number one. That'll be, um, that'll recycle traps. Probably better than anything else. Alright, pack number two. Opening, not a whole lot. Limiter removal. Um, which won't really help our super heavy samurais, but maybe if we get more machines. Better than anything else here, honestly. So let's go ahead and take that. Okay, pack number three. Got another gravity bind. A polymerization, if we ever wanted to fuse. Um, giant soldier of stone. Yeah, I think we're going to take the polymerization. That might come in handy if we ever get, like, enough fluffles to do anything or something. It's better. What does Mask of Dispel do, actually? Select a face-up spell. The controller takes 500 damage during each of your standby phases. Huh. That might be the jankiest kind of removal possible. But if um, it has to be a spell specifically, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think of... You know, if, if, if Joseph tries to do something where he's playing like Dim Fizz or something... That might be good. I think it's not very likely that we're going to get any kind of fusion archetype going in here. We're mostly collecting synchros and ixies and stuff. So let's go for polymerization. Or let's not, let's not go for polymerization. Let's go for Mask of Dispel. All right, pack number four. Let's go ahead. We've got Torrential Tribute. You know I'm taking that. And pack number five. Flip. Um, another Torrential Tribute. Ooh, ah, or Nobleman of Crossout. I think this will age a lot better. So, yeah, just right off the bat, we're starting with two Torrential Tributes, which might seem a little broken, but you don't know what, you don't know what Joseph's getting. I think Confiscation is in this. I think a lot of, like, very powerful things are. Well, let's see. Mask of Dispel, Torrential Tribute, another Torrential Tribute, Mask of Darkness, Limiter Removal. So, a nice little thing to add into there. Let's go ahead to the deck building and see what I come up with all this. There is a 0% chance I lose this set. 
Obviously, anything can happen, but I am almost 100% confident we cannot lose this one. This is like a who's who of broken cards in low power formats, and I am happy to report there is almost no chance that Hardleg pulled the very specific cards that are necessary to out our game plan. I'm really feeling good about this one. So I guess I'll talk through the individual cards that I picked and what game plan they facilitate. Uh, functionally, everything in this deck is in service to Time Thief Redoer. A Redoer is one of the most powerful cards in slower formats that you can imagine. It has ruined Trinity, Histlander, tons of limited formats time and time again because it's just so good. Every standby phase, it's able to take a card off the opponent's top of the deck and equip it to itself. It dodges removal by using its tag out effect. It draws cards by using its spell effect. It puts cards from your opponent's side of the field back into the top of the deck using its trap effect, after which they will be attached to it as material. It's just unthinkably good, and I am happy that we pulled it. Because we want to be making this every game, we're playing just about every good four-star monster we pulled, which includes, among other things, Fairy Tale Snow, a card that's bannably strong on its own. You watched the last season. You know how good this card is. I just hope Hardleg doesn't. And finally, should everything go wrong, we have another extremely powerful monster, World Legacy World Shield. This card can't be targeted with card effects, can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, and summons itself back from the graveyard if they do get it off the field. I can't describe how sluggish games become that include this card, and while we don't have a really cohesive win con after we've resolved it, we can probably get something going. So let me walk you through the individual cards. We're playing Saber Cerasaurus over Harpy Queen because I need fuel for Gigantes. We have the Atmosphere in here, which is like a really bad Thousand Eyes Restrict. Obviously, World Shield. Yaksha is a four star that bounces spell traps. Hardleg could have pulled Floodgates like Messenger of Peace from the early ones, and I want to be able to beat those cards. Gigantes is in here, a free special summon if you have an Earth in your graveyard. Sleeper is our target for Snow. We've got Go 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 Golem, can't be destroyed by battle once per turn. Sure, the blue flame, we've got a small Blackwing engine in here. Jane Lightsworn Paladin, Cosmo Goodwitch, Dino Wrestler, I'm not even going to try that. Hammer Shark, Rush Rhino, Draw Guy, Buzzsaw. Basilisk is kind of a removal spell as well. Really good at destroying defense position monsters that can't be destroyed by card or by battle, rather. Um, Heroic Challenger Extra Sword is great as Xyz Material. Veil is a free special. Gale the Whirlwind is basically a removal spell, as is Night Assailant. Qu Crawler Axon destroys spell traps, and we don't have a ton of those. And Swift Scarecrow is kind of the 40th card here. I have no problem just letting my opponent attack, then swifting so I can get a Gigantes later. We've got Trunade to ensure that our monster resolves. We've got Back to Square 1. We've got Upstart Goblin. Abyssal Designator is a really bad removal spell. Rush Recklessly, United We Stand, Cursed Armaments. I've got a couple of equip spells because I'm playing an Armory Call Package. Rival Appears is a way to cheat a four-star onto the field. Fairy Sand Mirror redirects spell effects. Blind Obliteration is a board wipe. Punch in the Box is kind of Mirror Force. Armory Call equips uh, spells from deck, and because of that, it's like also a combat trick. Quaking Mirror Force is broken as all hell. World Reassembly summons shield from deck. Adhesion Trap Hole decreases the attack and defense of a monster that Hard Leg will summon. Impenetrable Attack protects my life points or monsters. And Altergeist Emelt Health is a four-star monster that's also a trap. Fantastic material for our Redoer. For our extra deck, we don't have a lot we can go into. Redoer is the only thing. I think we can technically make Life Trancer and Hammer Kong, though I can't imagine a scenario where we would. The side deck actually makes sense. Beast is for if Hardleg is playing a burn strategy that mucks up my side of the field. Uh, things like Ojama tokens, for instance, might be a big problem for me, especially early. Um, a lot of these cards that muck up my side of the field have to be uh, not met with any sort of removal. So if he makes like a Lava Golem, I can tribute it off for a Beast. Uh, we've got Gaga, Gigo, and Jure in here to facilitate a just a break game plan out of the board. Gap the Divine Soldier is fantastic against Pac-Man variants because it means that battle positions can't be changed. Patrician of Darkness maybe facilitates uh, some sort of wall against direct attackers and something like Messenger of Peace. Harpy Queen is in here if we want to make Ice Queen Zero fine. She's the second uh, winged beast monster. Watt Cobra is if the games turn out to be super slow, this is a direct attacker. Same for Medusa Worm. If there's no attacks being done, Medusa Worm is a way to equalize. Morphtronic Vacuumen was... Uh, lobbied for by my chat, but it's terrible. Soul Release is in case he's got some graveyard shenanigans going on. Burning Land is in case uh, we need some sort of inevitability. Just a Break is to Mirror Force, Macro Cosmos, and Shadow Imprisoning Mirror are Floodgates, and Pulling the Rug is against ETB effects like Monarchs in case he pulled any of those. So, realistically, 
zero percent chance we lose all right ladies and gentlemen this is what i came up with it is basically every good card i have smashed into a deck it is the epitome of what you expect from like early playground Yu-Gi-Oh. if you were playing in the modern day we have Essentially three boss monsters. We've got the BES Blast Cannon. We've got the Abominable Unchained Soul. And we've got Tidal. These all have a fairly decent attack. Um, I'm playing every dragon and every water to facilitate that. But that's still like hardly any of the deck. We're playing the one Fiendus with the one Guru just in case we happen to get them. I mean, if nothing else, this is kind of good on its own. It's an 1800 defense wall. We've got a whole bunch of defense walls. We got the Defender, the Super Heavy Samurais, of course, a couple of which can't be destroyed by battle. We've got more than a few things that send stuff back to the hand. And of course, we've got like Inner Universe and this, which are going to, well, this will boost defense and this will switch attack and defense. So there's a chance that like we stall with these defense mode and like basically stun Joseph out by sending stuff back to the hand. And then find some way to like get in for a whole lot of damage with that or our other traps. Stall with Torrential Tribute. And then eventually just make our way into these things. Um, it's not much of a strategy, but this early in the this early in the series, that's what you're dealing with. Hopefully uh, Joseph doesn't have something a lot more powerful. All right, here we are. The decks are built. It's time to face off. Are, are you ready, Mr. Joseph? Do you think you can handle what I've built? Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> I'm not particularly concerned, buddy. I, I seriously... Oh, boy. I think not only is my deck killer, it is going to remain killer for the entire lifespan of the series. <laughs> I'm, I'm walking out of here 10 nothing. That's what I'm saying. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see. I think I've got so some surprise. Well, I mean, either way, whoever whoever loses gets to ban a card every episode. So if you've got one killer card that I'm unaware of. Uh, unfortunately, right. there is a very easy ban in my deck. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to show you the power of my deck. Now, uh you got six extra I, deck monsters, shit. Not only do I have six extra deck monsters, I can make at least 3 of them. Now, take that. <laughs> uh I have got some really really crazy stuff here. I'm really excited to show you the plays that my deck contains. I mean, this is the result of hundreds of people coming together to choose uh, what deck we're playing and what combos we can maneuver. So I'm going to set one card, and now it's your turn. <laughs> I was going to set one pass, eh? Building that up quite a bit. Okay. Let me think about this. I have, a, I have an important decision to make. I have a single card that gives me several lines of play. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. So I think what I'm going to do is not use that yet. Instead, I'm going to set a card myself. Ooh. Ooh, ah. But not just that. I have multiple cards to set. Shit. Oh, I really wasn't expecting that. Do I have, like, always chain on? What? Okay, there we go. All right. Check out, my deck's three times more powerful than yours. I can do math. Okay, realistically, what trap cards are in this format? Uh, like nothing, right? <laughs> Literally everything. Literally every trap that's not in a side set. All right, I'm going to summon a card that is really powerful in slow, unsolved formats. I'm talking about Heraldic Beast Basilisk. Um, okay. That's fine. It's like a... Dog shit chat all construct. I'm gonna go to the battle phase and attack your monster. I remember when these cards were called, um. Or what were they? The fucking Ally Ooh. of Justice. Um. Well, I'm not very scared Con of that, so you can go ahead and send that back. Sure. Uh, well, that is not what I wanted to see, but whatever. Uh, that's fine. Um, let's see. Damn. You summoned in the wrong column. Hmm. So what does this do? After damage count. So it's after. So you just get you get one one kill. No big deal. Um yeah. Ah. Check this out. Ghost bird of bewitchment. Oh god, <laughs> unfortunately I actually know what this card does. <laughs> okay. 
can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Oh, damn it. That includes my stupid ass card. Yep. I've got a Cataster! Uh, That's what it was. I forgot. Get wrecked. I love this card in a, in a limited format because it's like, it has so much utility. Every zone is a different effect. So I'm actually now reading this card. Th this doesn't actually do anything, does it? Um, it depends. I mean, it outs your uh, Heraldic Beast without getting destroyed. If need be, it could be a uh, 2300 normal summon. Uh, okay. I'm going to set one card and you are good to go. Okay. So we're dealing with that flip monster again. Um, Isn't necessarily a flip monster. Oh, it is. Okay. Do I really want to use... Oh, it has to be a face-up card. Okay, never mind. Um... Hmm. Uh, do I go big? What are the chances that what you have has more than 1,300 attack? Probably pretty high, right? Ah, eh, fuck it. Spirit Reaper. Whoa! Wow, you really... Wow, you thought. Holy shit. We're back in Reaper format. Let's go. All right, buddy. I'm going to show you the most powerful monster in the game. A monster that struck fear into the heart of Mech Knight Avram. I'm talking about Crawler Axon, baby. Let's get this one. Uh, okay. That's fine. My, uh, my Soul Strike will die. Soul Striker. What Assuming the hell is Soul Strike? Doesn't seem to be loading. Mr. Edo Pro, you Excuse have something me? you want to tell us? Where you appear to be having technical difficulties for some reason. Beep, 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 beep. The crawlers are simply too hot to handle. <laughs> They're not used to cards of this magnitude. There's too many effects on the field. I'm actually a little pissed off. You you actually pulled Spirit Reaper. Yeah. Wow. He's, he's not like an ultimate rare or anything, is he? No, he's a rare, but... Oh, there it goes. Like it. Okay. So... If your life points are 4,000 or less, pay half your life points. This card is so fucking bad, dude. Oh, yeah. This is the worst card I've ever read. I did not have very good cards. I mean, nope. I do have this, though. That is a very good card. And wow, that's rough. Oh, if I have another... You would have been so punished <laughs> if I had another fucking crawler! I'm pretty right, cool. Pick. You only get to... Sure. You know, you get from one set. What are the chances that you got another crawler? Pretty sure crawlers were only in one set. I can summon out of the extra deck. I mm. don't think I want to. I think I'm happy with this. Got rid of your 1900 right. beater. Ooh, that is a good one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to normal summon. So this card can be destroyed by battle, right? What, Spirit Reaper? No. Ghost Bird of Bewitchment. That's kind of the, oh, Bird of Bewitchment? I don't know. Fuck, <laughs> what do you think I am? Uh, All right, I'm gonna normal summon probably. Fairy Tail Sleeper. Uh, well, you wasted the flip effect. I don't want the flip effect. I want to kill your Ghost Bird of Bewitchment. <laughs> I'll set one card. You're good to go. Okay. Well, in that case, um, I'm going to move this to defense, and uh, we'll set this as well. Okay. It's fine. I got the one card out of your hand. Oh. That's interesting. When your opponent activates uh, a normal spell trap, you can tribute one other. I'm going to summon Go 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 Golem. All right. I'll go to the Go Go Go. I'll Go 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 to the battle phase. Go for it. Ha <laughs> ha! What is this card? It has 2100 defense, is what it is. <laughs> you picked this card because it has 2100 defense. I had, other, I had very few other choices. Well, uh, enjoy your fucking soul tiger. And now to show you the PS de resistance. I mean, if you banish head. it, my spirit reaper is going to get 600 attack. Assuming it doesn't the destroy most what I targeted. Powerful card in my deck. The Time Thief Redoer. This will be your demise. I am certain. I will set one card and end my turn. What, what does this do in this format? Just... Have 2,400 attack? Hardly. In your standby phase, I'll activate the effect of my Time Thief Redoer to take the top card of your deck and attach it to this monster. Eh. It was a monster. Fuck. Okay. Actually, this card is ass. <laughs> Thanks for taking it out of my deck. I appreciate it.
Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Is, why are you playing Super Heavy Samurai Big Bungler? I did not get good pulls. <laughs> In standby, I'll activate Redoer's effect again. Give me the top card of your deck, fool. Oh, a spell card. Well, that will work perfectly. No, for my, my one-time passcode. I'll that attack a your meter. face down. I probably want to attack the Basilima, right? Yeah, let's do that. No. And guess what, asshole? It gets worse. I'll activate Time Thief Redoer's effect. I will detach your one-time passcode to draw a card. And now it is your turn. Enjoy that card while you can, good sir. For it may be your last. I don't think it's gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go take another one of your cards. Stop playing so many monsters. This card's so much better if you have... No, you are not my playing Fiendess. <laughs> You're not playing Fiendess, buddy. What did you get? How did you get Guru and Fiendess? Nightmare <laughs> Penguin. What up? Go now ahead, tag out. The true power of Time Thief Redoer. That's fine. Whoop. There uh, it goes. The true power of Spirit Reaper again. <laughs> Uh, Spirit Reaper, you still believe that monster will be your salvation. Oh. Let's see how it matches up against my swift scarecrow. Touche, touche. Um, hmm. I guess I'll just set a couple more cards. Have myself a fine howdy-do. All right, time to draw for turn, and in standby, big surprise. I will be activating the effect of Time Thief Redoer. Let's see what we can scrape off the top of that little deck there, buddy. You know, I really didn't consider it, but this might be a decent mill engine in this. <laughs> no. I'm going to normal summon a Shura the Blue Flame, and I can assure you, you're fucked. I'll go to the battle phase. Shura, attack my opponent's nightmare penguin. Yeah, whatever. He did what he needed to do. No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't accomplish anything. He got Redoer off the field. I gotta steal a card. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I forgot about Woo! Swift Scarecrow. And okay. I will also attack. Haha! -ha! Batteries! Oh, shit, this <laughs> card is crazy! Oh, thank God, you don't have any other batteries. No, okay. no, I do not. I have zero batteries. All um, right, uh, un unfortunately for you, <laughs> I'm gonna teach you a valuable lesson. And that's that everything before the semicolon is part of the cost. I'm going to target your Spirit Reaper, and uh, I guess I won't get the effect. But you know what will trigger is your Spirit Reaper's effect. Oh, that's fine. Uh, ha -ha! Oh, wait, I targeted myself. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, okay, wait, I'm an what do you think happens here? <laughs> well, All right, I'll set one card. You're good to go. That's fine. I learned for nothing. This is the best out of three, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, Time Thief Redoer, do your stuff. Add the top card of my opponent's deck to my deck. You've got to have a <laughs> trap card in there somewhere. Ooh, another monster. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Not my Dread Dragon. He be jamming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'll set a card. Your move. All right, I will draw for turn. Oh, that is stupid. In standby, I'll once again activate the effect of Time Thief Redoer. Just steal all my best cards. Stop playing monsters! <laughs> you have to have... To... This card is so good if you're playing any trap cards. <laughs> and oh, trap God. cards? What? I guess that's not much incentive for you to play traps then, huh? No, no, it's not. All right, Shora, show him what for and mean to be Blackwing Legend. Speaking of trap cards, though, let me just go ahead and uh, I'll take this back if you don't mind. I do mind quite, quite a lot. All right, uh, I'll attack with Gale and then I'll attack with Redoer. Uh, I think I'm going to activate Tiki Curse. I think I'm going to summon a Tiki Curse. Ooh. He has 1,800. Not only does he have 1,800. Uh, wow, that is a very interesting effect. So if I were to attack this with Redoer, he would die in the damage step when I can't tag him out. Yeah. Ooh, that is kind of crusty. Hmm. Well, I won't be replaying. <laughs> uh, I'll go to main phase two. I'll set one card, and uh, you are good to what go. What are all these traps you've got? <laughs> well, if I ever feel threatened, you'll figure it out. All right. Uh, Time Thief Redoer, fire it off. Get the top card of my opponent's deck. Can we get a fucking spell or a trap? Nope. <laughs> nope dot jpeg whoa well glad i took that one holy shit oh uh, damn All it right. <laughs> you've got some good stuff in here i see what's that's going on. my one good thing and you got it now 
Um, let's see. Yeah, well, I guess I just gotta start clearing some stuff off of here, right? Uh... Sure. Get out of here. And we'll go ahead and uh, set this. And your move, holy man. Alright, I will activate at end step World Reassembly. So I'm going to summon World Legacy World Shield from my deck. And at the end phase of the next turn, it'll be destroyed. Um... I think I'm going to go ahead and activate this now. <laughs> and I will be chaining Time Thief Redoer. That's fine. I killed the World Shield. Or not. You didn't, in fact. The World Shield is impervious to any of your monster effects, any of your targeted effects, or any destruction effects. A true shieldy boy. This is a card we are going to have to ban 100%. This card's bullshit. <laughs> Unaffected by any monster, your opponent cannot target your World Legacy. Um, well, let's go ahead and uh, do this while we can. <laughs> Shit. Ah, uh, balls. Ha-ha! And you think I was just torrential tribulating for nothing? You think I You think I don't know anything about anything? No, you got a, you got a, the big defense you know wall. Something about something. There you go. Get Humanoid slime. I'm gonna lose to humanoid slime. <laughs> You're not gonna... You, you just had... You just summoned an invincible thing that you admitted I have no way to out. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is quite vincible. It's gonna die by world reassembly. <laughs> Oh, I see. So I'm going to activate World Shield now. I can pay a 1,000 to bring it back, but you get to bring back a monster from your hand or graveyard as well. Ah. Uh -uh. Hmm. And it can't be destroyed by card effects, right? It can't. So that ridiculous uh, abomination monster is not going to do exactly what you want. I was worried. I was thinking Drillroid maybe might actually be able to help me with this of all things. <laughs> So I'll, I'll, I'll be specific. Uh, anything that's specialed from the extra deck, it's unaffected by those effects. It can't be targeted uh, by card effects, and it can't be destroyed by card effects. Oh, uh, let's see here. Hmm. You can still pop some of my back row. Yeah, I think I will. Chainsaw Insect. Just because. Not my arrival appears. Uh, we'll go ahead and set this, and uh, just for fun, let's go ahead and attack for three thousand. <laughs> That's very funny, for sure. Yeah, this is a this is the Yu-Gi-Oh equivalent of a fist bump. Just coming mm -hmm. up, hey, how's it going, buddy? I see. I wonder if we could do this mm. across across the field. Put your fist up to the camera. Dun. <sighs> Hopefully that worked well. Um, uh, okay, one more time. Boom. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, me wa no shin. Um, do I have any tuners? Do I exist in the tuner world? Um, all right. Well, <laughs> I'm kind yeah, of, don't worry. you know, I'm honestly wondering that maybe a uh, chainsaw insect, I shouldn't have gotten rid of it because if I could keep attacking, I could get you under me in terms of cards. Um, let's see here. Wait, this can be... Oh, it has to point to it. God damn it. Why'd you put it in the leftmost column? <laughs> so that you couldn't point to it? <sighs> Increase the thing and do the thing. This will be so good when I get other monsters, but right now it's pretty garbo. Okay. Well, I mean, we're at a standstill. This is like the end of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, where they're like, what are we, two immortals? Just stare at each other down for all eternity? You're going to be sad when you find out I drew a heavy storm. Yes, I will. Uh, okay, let's do this. There you go. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, so, um, hmm. I'm going to Abyssal Designator here. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna call Dark Fiend. I didn't want to do this because I'm pretty sure you have other targets in your deck. There's just, like, a lot of Dark Fiends. Probably. Yes, I have exactly one. There you go. Ah, wow. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, if you're trying to mill me out, it's working. 
Um. Hmm. Unaffected by the activated. So this thing just can't be targeted at all. That is correct. Well, targeted, but uh, it can't. World legacy monsters in this card's column can't be targeted by card effects, and that includes itself. That's so dumb. Um, it's very silly. But I could try, right? Uh, I, yes, you could try. No, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, best of luck, I guess I would say. Well, at least you know what I got there. You won't be surprised. <laughs> you know, I do have plays in here. I, I just, I, I really don't feel any inclination to do them. Ooh, now that is a very interesting one. It's about this time. Ooh, that's a I very a interesting one. Oh, that's a silly one. Okay. I mean, I don't know what makes you think that you're going to be able to keep that there. Oh, no. I don't expect to. You're not allowed to build up resources, good sir. <laughs> there we go. So non-targeting, non-destruction. I wish I had taken a kaiju. I was like... I'm pretty sure I pulled one at one point, and I was like, what are the chances he'll have something I need to kaiju? All right, we're going to go draw guy into the set card. Then I'm going to rush recklessly <laughs> so I can actually get over it. All right. Fair All right, enough. Go ahead, buddy. You got it. Um, hmm. Do I have anything that can take advantage of the fact that you have something? Uh, doesn't look like it. So... I guess what I'll do... So that got 16. Uh, let's just go ahead and Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, is this the warrior who defends the world of the Sea of Darkness who prides himself on his fighting prowess both on the ground and, of course, in the water? I don't know why I was like, oh, I need to I need to summon something with more than 1,600. I have a 3,000. <laughs> I forgot he was there because he hadn't done anything for the last hour. He's like, you're fine, buddy. Yeah. All I right, just, so... I just really wanted to summon something. Time for a lesson. This Destiny Hero draw guy can come back during my standby phase, and when he does, we're going to draw a card. No big deal. No big deal. That's fine. I guess that part's optional, but I do want to draw a card, since it looks like I'm pretty close to getting you dead by uh, deck out. Yeah. I'm going to normal summon a TG Rush Rhino. Then I am going to special summon the Atmosphere by banishing two of my <laughs> monsters from my field and one from my graveyard. <laughs> the fucking Atmosphere? The um, entire Atmosphere! You've heard of Elemental Heroes Stratos and the Stratosphere, but behold the Atmosphere... <laughs> Who can so. equip Abominable Unchained Soul to itself like Relinquished. Huh. Well, ain't that silly. some shit? Very, very silly. Well, now I feel bad for having a Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Well, he was the most feared warrior in the Sea of Darkness. He prides himself on his fighting prowess on the ground and, of course, in the water. He certainly did. He certainly did that. I tell you what. Um. Hmm. 4,000 is a lot. It's a big boy. I've got two big honking chonkers on my side of the field. Okay, we'll set that. And, um... Let's see, that would give it 21, which is not enough. I'll just set something else, too. We'll wall okay. up as much as we can for now. Ooh, that's an interesting draw. Hmm. All right, I guess I'll attack. Who, who cares? Let's get the new one. Noble Knight Pelinoir. He's, sure. he's just a 1900 beater, I tell you what. <laughs> he's a man. A big, strong man. Ah. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Hmm. I may have something here. We'll see. I don't like the sound of that, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I'll attack. Let's see what uh, you have. 
Okay. Yep, four star ladybug. That did not seem like much at all, if I'm being honest. No, it Go was ahead. not. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, I need to read something. This has more than one sentence of effect text. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and activate Inner Universe. <laughs> what the fuck is this card? Switches attack and defense. Oh, okay, I'm still with you. Um, oh my god, my world shield. <laughs> <laughs> okay, triggering Dinomicious as well, sure. That should be able to get over the world shield. Um, let's go ahead and activate... Tidal! <laughs> Tidal. Sorry, Tidal? You had Tidal this whole time? I mean, I just <laughs> drew it, but it exists. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got the Nightmare Penguin... And the humanoid slime. That explains the humanoid slime. Yeah, I have to play all the waters I can. <laughs> um, hmm. Do I want to extend further? I don't... Well... Da, da, da. Yeah, let's go ahead. Spear shark. <laughs> Holy shit. You can increase the levels of all your level 3 fish by 1? Yeah, it's pretty neat. But more importantly, it does piercing damage. So I'll actually be able to get in for something on this. Assuming you don't have shrink or something. It does not do piercing damage. It does no damage. Because I will be punching it in the box. <laughs> That's rude! Uh, let's send the title to the grave. On oh, Wait, when your opponent declares an attack, target the attacking monster, negate it, send the other one to the graveyard... That is that is so rude. It's it's a it's a punchy punchy bunchy, Why? and I also have a quaking. Oh, well. I'm least, keeping the shield, buddy. At least I take no damage here. Um. All right. What uh, what is up with the Dinomicious? It just sits as a <laughs> fucking trap card in the monster zone. I guess so. Just don't tell <laughs> don't tell a judge. I'm not cheating. That's uh, just how me, it goes. Uh... All right. Surely you don't have a piercer. We're going to go through our entire decks in this first duel, Joseph. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm learning a lot about both of our strategies, namely that they're ass. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, that change is permanent? Oh yeah. Holy shit, I'm going to kill you with my <laughs> world shield! <laughs> Alright, uh... God. Uh, how do I want to do this? So... I'm going to activate... I'm going to activate Giant Trude Aid. <laughs> no! I needed that! Uh, I'm going to uh. flip summon Night Assailant. I'll activate the effect targeting Spear Shark. Uh, hello. Soul's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll just destroy the atmosphere. Sure. Uh, I'll send this guy to attack. I will equip it with United We Stand! <laughs> Goddamn equip cards! And uh, I will go to the battle phase. So that Dynamicious has zero defense, so we'll get in with the Knight Assailant. Um, not quite. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll get in with the... Uh, I probably should have saved that for a bigger hit. I might have been able to uh, get you to use all your life points on something, but... Yeah, for we'll real. See. Uh, I th I've got some plans in the works. Do not worry. All right, go ahead, buddy. Fucking heavy truth. Oh, I should have saved it! I should have been... Um... Okay, well... This is free? He's back. Yep, good thing I have Spear Shark and Sea Serpent of Darkness. Ha cha 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 cha. Okay, so I do have an adhesion trap hole here, so he's not going to be able to kill me. <laughs> oh, well, that's the night good. assailant. Um. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I just want to keep this in defense. Yeah, because the thirteen. Does that just have it forever? Uh, yes. <sighs> 
Oh, I wish Lynx could go into defense mode. That would be really nice. <laughs> What the fuck do I want to do? That would have less attack than what I need. <laughs> um. Well, I still have this trap. I think this works. Ooh. Only time. Oh, it's permanent. Fucking adhesion trap hole. What a normal Cosmo Goodwitch. Vanish one and... level five. Pay five hundred. Ah, if you could flip my uh, title face down, I'd appreciate it. That would be very bro of you. You know, actually, I'm good, buddy. I'm instead going to walk into it with my big-ass shield. You're acting kind and... of like a sussy Ooh. baka here. Okay. Ooh. Well. Imposter victory. <laughs> that was a little too close for me. I have, I have no side deck cards that would be of any use in this situation. I really just have to try to find a way to stop you from um, getting to the shield somehow. The power mm, of I, love. I think I've got some stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't have been... <laughs> to be fair, if you didn't have that, the thing that halved my attack, attacking into the, um... The, the nightmare, whatever. The flip monster. That would have been game. It would have actually beat me, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um... There was a lot of back and forth there. I don't, I don't like it. Oh, uh, let's... <laughs> well, this is a hand. Well, you know what? It worked so well the last time I played. Let's just go ahead and try one of these, shall we? Ah, uh, this is, uh... Ooh. <laughs> I don't know about this one, buddy. Ah, just nothing? Just starting mm, out? It's a... It's a little bit of a sussy baka of a hand. Okay. Uh, do you like Spirit Reaper? <laughs> I do not. And how about uh, Ghost Bird of Bewitchment? It's, it's the same fucking... It's the same one. It's the same hand. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Punch in the box is Mirror Force here because of the way it works. I would have said that to the graveyard and your monster was targeted. Whoo! Well, that is unfortunate. But I guess that... You know, I'd be like, well, that's the punish, is it? I knew you had Punch in the box. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess I'm going to summon Shura. It's not very good when can't actually destroy anything I'll go to the battle phase here uh let's go ahead and activate the tiki curse uh you are out of your mind if you think i'm not going to make this trade uh, okay tiki curse more like tiki worse more like blaze oh snap um pelinor 1900 baby we're on 1900 beats and Hardleg draws first blood. I'll have my revenge. I'll have my life points back, please. <laughs> Battle in bo Boxer Veil. Well, fine then. I guess I didn't want to have any blood. Fucking oh, anti-vampire shit. Bigot. Interesting. I'm gonna normal a hammer shark. A hammer shark. All right. And it's time, buddy. The boy is back in town. Um. Defense mode. Defense mode. All right. That's it. Oh, Give me your thing. card! Please not torrential tribute. Please not torrential tribute. Okay. It's a fucking humanoid slime. <laughs> this redoer is really kicking my ass. I know you're playing non-monsters. You have two back row set. You've activated Tiki Curse. But for some reason, when the redoer triggers, all I'm finding <laughs> off the top of your deck is humanoid fucking slime. Uh, well, I guess I'm just keeping this here. You got it, buddy. I've got an out to this. We'll see I just need that. certain conditions to be met. Stop stealing Perfect. my fucking... Ah, uh, great. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab a card here. In this format, that might as well be Pot of Greed. I back up, Ryder! No. <laughs> That's so much attack! Okay, I'm just going to guess that you don't have another Light Warrior. Um, yeah, probably not. Uh, question mark? Opponent must send one from their hand or deck to the graveyard. 
<laughs> but not the field. Oh, not the field. I'm not sure. Wait, this card is terrible. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the new one. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, fine. Well, you're not attacking? Whatever. No, I don't want to die to a damage step trick. Can you give me a trap, please? No, no. you're a... Uh... A battery man micro cell. You're unfortunately... You're, you're, no you're, you're, you're one draw step too late. I guess. I guess. I wish I had saved something. Okay, I should have taken that. I forgot that my, my deck had combos. I just assumed that, like, you know, I would never get them. Another one. Another one. Another one. one. Jack Frost. Yep. Sure. Eventually, this guy's going to really pop off. Yep. Yep, probably. I, I appreciate you uh, setting a monster, though, by the way. Thank you. Finally! God damn it! <laughs> the one time! Um. Well... Well, well, well. I, th I thought it was Abyssal Persecutor. The ah, I thought it was the new one. <laughs> this Not card is actually penis bad. <laughs> uh, I'm giving you a foolish burial. Hmm. God damn it. I would have so much if you didn't get a trap finally. <laughs> what does this do? Place three. Can't be destroyed by battle. God damn it. Uh, do I do this or do I do the other thing? Uh, I guess I gotta use this. Hello. Oh. That's very interesting. Very much so. Just flip that face guess down, I have please. To tag out here. No, you're not gonna you're not gonna send the guru back? Oh, okay. Oh, you have yeah, to detach everything when you attach. Gotcha. All you don't right. have to. Oh, I didn't think this through. <laughs> um, I guess that's fine. At least I can attack your face down. All right, so my face down is a uh, go, 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 golem. And you can go, 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 go to hell because this monster can't be destroyed by battle. Fair enough. Touche. Your move, good sir. All right. See what we got on the top of that little deck there, buddy. Ooh. Wow, who could have expected that? A guru? Hmm. Shake my head. Certainly not me. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Basilisk. I, we should probably start attacking, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, combat. Going to go Basilisk here. All right. Trigger the Basilisk, take that guy down, and get in for a fair amount of damage, if you'll allow it. I'll allow it this time. <laughs> I don't have to take the damage. The fact that you're not waiting is not because I don't have a trap. Okay. Whatever helps you, buddy. Okay, I'm going to set one, you're good to please go. Please don't draw a trap. Come on, I have like right, five redoer. traps in my entire deck. 33%. It's 100%. It happens or it doesn't. Fuck. What did you get? Okay, divine. That's fine. Um, special summon BES Blaster Cannon Core. <laughs> uh, Big Earth. Uh, holy shit. It's like Cyber Dragon, but better. It's way better. Holy fucking moly, dude. I mean, except I can only attack three times and then I'm dead. I think. All right. Uh, I guess I am going to activate this effect. Um. Hmm, okay. Do I want to... Well, yeah, might as well. Hopefully I... Okay, it doesn't take one of my things off. I was worried God, that it. would be sick. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Dunk. Oh, this defense position card. <laughs> I see. I didn't, I didn't look at that either, so it's fine. All right, let's go grab a uh, redoer. Oh, wow. Okay, no traps, no traps, no traps. Double whammy. Oh, there we go. More spells. All right, I'm going to back to square one <laughs> to put the BES back on top of your deck. No! I needed that! 
You coward! It doesn't really do what I want. Uh, I mean, I guess I could... No, because you're going to steal it next turn. No, because you draw first. Oh, do I? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that, then. I'm just trying to put you on. If I find a trap card, you're dead. Okay. okay. That's fine. What'd you draw for turn, dude? I did. Oh, what did, what did I draw? Um, Abominable Unchained Soul. Don't try to destroy me. Damn you it, will pay dude. for it. I love... That's the best thing about having all these useless monsters. Is like, you're taking them. I appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, eventually you're going to get the Dragon Ruler, and then you're going to put it in the graveyard for me, and then I'll be good. Exactly. Okay, show it's me just whatever a very, dumb battle trap you have. Very long, foolish burial. I don't have a battle trap. Oh, you're just... Okay. You're a battle crap. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the 25. Don't worry. Sounds good. Ding. <laughs> it's so rare that I hear the sound of, like, a counter being taken off of something. I didn't... I thought it was a ding, but it's like a thunk. Womp. Really should get my own custom card pack. Let's see what we got here. I really wish you would stop that. <laughs> I just need a trap card. I'm begging you. <laughs> I told okay, my deck is like almost no traps. Sabersaurus. Why? And uh, <laughs> better have it, buddy. United we stand. That is a 4,000 attack point monster. All right. Let's go ahead. Um, soul Strike. <laughs> Pay half your life points. Gains the attack between... Your life points and 4,000. That's a lot of life points, Mr. Joseph. Until the end of the turn? Yep. Until the end of your opponent's turn. It's pretty uh, big. Okay, yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out, I'm spooked. Granted, I'm very low, but that's, that's a big BES, I tell you what. It's a big BES for now. Let's see how it looks on your turn. Wait, I thought it was until the end of the opponent. Oh. Yes, that was the end of my turn. At the end of the opponent's next turn. That's dumb. Dumb things right, are please dumb. Please a trap. Ah, that, I can't even tag out. God damn it. Well, at least there's that. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll finally get rid of that. Hopefully. Uh, Unless you've got I'll a draw. battle trap. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card on my way out here. <laughs> Whatever, nerd. I'm trying to think if there's Ooh. anything that like stops attacks against monsters. Like, as far as a hand trap. Wait, what am I waiting for? Right, I'm for? going to impenetrable attack. Targeting <sighs> my monster. This turn, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. I guess that's on the Time Thief Redoer. Uh, yes, it will be. All right. Fair enough. So I guess I'm attacking this. Show me the just to break. Ooh. I've got something else. Oh? An armor recall. Armor recall. So here's how this is going to work. My arm recall will equip a cursed armaments. Equip monster, monster loses 600. All right. I'll take a fair amount of damage here. That's but when my cursed armaments goes to the graveyard, I can equip it to a monster you control. Unfortunate. And now, Monsieur Leg, you had better have a good way to out my board. That is not one. Oh, that, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> ah, well, you do what you have to. Oh, uh, there we Torrential, go. Torrential, my own board. Holy shit! <laughs> the Marincess! What? Da 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 da! Da da oh da da da! Also, I'm gonna activate Mask of Dispel on your cursed armaments. Whoa! <laughs> Each of your standby phases? I'm cool, dude. I'll be fine. <laughs> 
I need any monster. That will do it. No, it won't. <laughs> oh, these games are so close. God, they're so fucking close. All right, I'm going to... How is this format somehow balanced-ish? I'm going to normal summon Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. That's going to cut your guy down to 25. I'll activate the effect targeting it. Fuck. And then I'm 50, 50 over your monster. <laughs> you certainly are. Dunk. End of the damage step. God, that's crazy. All right. Um, let's see. So first I'm taking the mask damage for sure. Yeah. Mask damage. Do I just want to leave that up there and just be like, yeah, go ahead. Take all the damage. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wall up. See if you have any way to get rid of cursed armaments. You're on, you're on a two-turn clock. Unless you, you happen to get a piercer, but I don't feel like that was your style. You'd be like, oh, this is useless and constructed. I'm going to normal summon Yaksha. <laughs> God Back damn! The effect of Yaksha. Oh, you're going for that? Yes. All right. I don't think this cursed armament is going to be very long for this world at all. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go to the battle phase. I'm going to attack. Oh, fuck. I fucked this up. Okay. I'm going to go to the battle phase. I'm going to attack like this. And then, of course, this dies. Yeah. And I'm going to put the cursed armaments on your battle and boxer blue bass hole. Yeah, uh, whatever. Can't be destroyed by battle. We're going to go here. Jeez, that's rough. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, it's my friend! <laughs> Shit! Um, oh, it's my good friend. You know what? Let's just go ahead and whatever this is, let's make sure it's not something... Oh, okay. okay. That's fine. The good news is I don't think I'm dead here. What? Because I have psychic life trancer. Oh, come on! Fucking psychic life trancer. <sighs> okay, all right. We live in, we live in. <laughs> I was like, there's no way he has a synchro or an ixie or oh something. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> you'll never guess what I drew, Joseph. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's a good one. Yeah. Fucking abominable unchained soul into title. All right, okay. I'll take my one loss. I have exactly and, uh, two good cards, and these are both of them. <laughs> wow, they really are. Holy shit. There we go. All right, anybody's game going into game three. Place your bets now. Who will win? It's like Alien versus Predator. Whoever wins, Joe loses. But I'm going to be the Predator, baby. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold up. You know, the thing about that me, movie uh, is technically both of those are aliens, and they're also both predators. <laughs> hmm. Dang old generic names. All right, well, this is... Oh, no. <laughs> what is with this? I it's guess it's not, not the exact one. same hand. Uh, this one is not ideal. Um... Hmm... I maybe played a little fast and loose with my removal that game. It won't happen again. Let's just start off with some piercing. What do you got here? Uh, it's a good card. Haha! -ha, a hundred. All right, touche. I mean, you could move it into attack mode, and then you could get over. Yeah. I could. I think instead I'm going to normal summon Jane Lightsworn Paladin. Oh. And we'll go to the battle phase here. Gains 300, damn. All uh, right, second fair main. enough. You know where we're headed, boy. You know where we're headed, boy. Same place we're right. always headed. Faster. All right, All let's right. get a trap card, please. Please don't take my torrential uh, tribute. Trap it's, card. It's been critical. To oh, my I God! I'm no! the best player in the universe! I'm so goddamn good! I Woo! hate the world. Oh my god, whoa, that's the scariest card in your deck by a well, country there we mile. Go. <laughs> that is the second scariest card in your deck by a country mile. Yeah, really? That's fine. What about Abominable Unchained Soul? I mean, that's a good one for sure. Oh, what else do I have? Yeah, let's just go ahead and try to attack. Uh, big surprise here, we're going to activate the effect of redoing. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to go one, two, and let's get that bad boy out of here. Yep. We've been on this road before, but this time I have a set card. Your move, holy man. All right, we're going to go for world reassembly. Of course. I summon this bad boy. Okay, I learned last time. Don't inner universe this. <laughs> that, that was a bad idea. What am I going to get off the top? Oh, that's crazy. Wow. Oh, wait. Really? Okay, I didn't think about that. I was like, oh, how could this would be the same? Okay. All right, let's go get the uh, Cosmo Good Witch. We'll go to the battle phase. Okay. Uh, attack here. Uh, I may have a flip monster. Let's Holy just get that shit. back, please. <laughs> that is going to be a problem. Not that it helps. Unfortunately, Redoer comes back. He doesn't, like, summon himself back to the field. It would be nice if I could activate Torrential as soon as he came back with, like, no material. All right, I'm going to lose World Reassembly here, and then your standby, I'm going to... Immediately uh, get it back. Yeah, we'll do it like this. So we'll go Redoer first. Of course. And then we'll go World Shield. Oh, no! <gasps> Well, <laughs> uh, I went to click on to see what material you got, and apparently that uh, crashes EDO Pro sometimes. Um. Oh. All right, here we are, game three, the decider. This is the one that decides. This is the first time we are doing game three, I want to point out. Very interesting. Yeah, nothing nothing happened outside, nothing shady, nothing that could be claimed that perhaps I was cheating. I Look at my face, chat. I, I'm not the face of a cheater. My beard is too big, too wise. Now, MBT, on the other hand. I am a cheater. I cheat incessantly. You look at him and it's just discount cheat warehouse. I'm going to put the screws on you, buddy. You're getting attacked. Ammo fult? I'm uh, going to deal 1,400 damage to your life points. I mean, you could certainly try. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm making fucking redoer. Oh. Uh, uh, do I really want to have to do this this early? Uh, with a trap, even. <laughs> Fool! Torrential tribute. <laughs> you have two removal spells? Jesus. Paleozoic. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. You're kidding me. You had to draw exactly that. Uh, not just exactly that. <laughs> Holy fucking moly, dude. I got every good card in my deck. If you have any removal, I'm screwed. Ugh. It's okay. You know, if you wanted the game to crash right now, I would understand. No! God damn it. In fact, I do. Uh, this oh, isn't that bad. Uh, it, the only the reason shield. it's bad for you is that uh, I am going to trigger World Shield in standby phase. Yep. It's okay. I mean, all this, all this does is stall. Special summon a monster. Um, all water monsters gain 200 attack. Sure. That'd be crazy. Set your move. And so here we are once again at the stalling world shield. I'm not trying to say nothing, but that last game I had a 0% chance of losing. This game, I think I have a 0% chance of winning. My <laughs> hand is cheeks. It's actually cheeks. I mean, I have abominable unchained soul and no way to destroy it. Um, It'll get there. There we go. We'll set that. At least I'll finally get one of my many combos off. The two card combos where everything's a one of. This is a de facto Highlander. Well, actually it's not. Fun fact, I do have two of because I got dark in dark beginnings. I got the same card twice. Whoa, poggers. Oh, it's Guru. Yeah. Okay. Get you. Bet you didn't think you were playing Guru control in this one. Uh, I, I actually did not. Um, let's see. How does Fiendus work? I do not remember. I have not played Guru. Uh, then change that. Okay, so I've got to keep Guru face up in order for this to work. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and I have nothing to negate. So, yeah. There we go. Uh, did not think I was going to get any value out of this one. Abyssal Designator? Uh, I'm going to call Earth Spellcaster. Can you think of one of those you might have in your hand? Hmm. Well, I guess this will stop me from taking damage. <laughs> I guess Abyssal Designator sure. is not the most useless card. All right. I mean, it was it was pretty bad, but... Uh, I'm sure. not sure if I have any Earth Spellcasters in the deck, but I don't think I do. <laughs> and at least I flip that down. Um, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Just building up resources. Uh, at least at least the Time Thief Redoer is gone. So all yeah. I gotta do is get you to draw one card, and then I can mill you out and see how you like it. I don't think I can win if, if Redoer is gone, if I'm being honest. God, you had to have exactly... That's the only removal in your deck. <laughs> I started with P the two traps. Pee-pee-poo-poo. -poo. I mean, I've gotten rid of so Redoer before. And I can't even destroy anything because of the fucking unchained asshole. And I can't even Abyssal Designator the Unchained Asshole because you have the Jack Frost in your deck. <laughs> uh, ooh. This will be interesting. Okay. Do you have... I, I feel... I should have set this not in the Imperm column. Hmm... I go for Gigantes here. Unfortunate. And a normal summon Basilisk. All right. Go to combat. I'm gonna do it like this. Then I'll do it like this. That was the correct choice. <laughs> wow! Ho ho ho! This is Guru. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I want to do okay. that. Summon this. I'll go ahead and pitch this to get rid of the Gigantes. Because I want to keep my spell mm. traps. And having you be able to run into that, even if it would take you some damage, not really appealing to me. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Uh, Alright. We're going to set. We're going to just get in for as much damage as we can. It's basically the right. only way I can win this deck. Or this game. <laughs> oh. Joseph, why would you do such a thing? Uh, I, I, I don't want you to soul me. <laughs> I dislike this. Um, well, I guess that... It could just come back every turn as long as he doesn't have... Oh. Uh... Well, off he goes. Oh, also Veil. Damn it! Behold, my battle in Boxer Veil. Okay. Well, I'm attacking this, whatever this is. Also, I like to see it's the Dinomiscus for like two seconds had... No. Not like this. Not like this! Oh! Uh, Anguish. I hate... Oh, that was my what I should not have attacked. Oh. That was my one well, out to Macro Cosmos. I'm going to normal summon Buzzsaw Shark. I'm going to activate Buzzsaw Shark. Oh, uh, that's fine. Wait, what does that do? Gets me a Hammer Shark. Okay. You got a Shark deck now? Uh, we're going to go Buzzsaw Shark into the Dynamicious. That's fine. I'll take some damage. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, then I will. Um... <laughs> I didn't think this through all that much. Oh, uh, everything's in defense. Everything does. Okay, well, one time passcode. You got it, buddy. 2,000. Oh, shit, that, that card has 2,000 defense. Yeah, and 2,000 attack. All right, uh, I'm going to switch uh, Meme Shark to attack here. Go for it. Have fun. Make it dynamic. What does this do? You can reduce this card's level by one. Go for it. I'm not gonna. 
Uh, let's go shark into this card. All right. Enjoy your 200 damage. Okay. Uh, at some point, I will pull, like, a monster that has attack points, <laughs> and then you'll be sorry. If My only I had some sort of time thief redoer. My deck is all defense monsters, baby. Discount defense warehouse. Go ahead. Attack into that one. Surely it doesn't have big defense. I'm gonna. Actually, you mm. might want to. It might speed up the game a little bit. Oh, wait, I should have moved my token into attack mode and done something. Shit. Oh, you're doing it. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh. Big 1,000. All right. We're... Uh, this is a weird one. I mean, you will get some attacks and stuff. That's cool. Um, all right. Yeah, I think we're going to have... We're going to mill you out the old-fashioned way. Let's go ahead, 2,000, into the Hammer Shark. Uh, that's fine, yeah. 300. We're chipping down. We're chipping Dale, Rescue Rangers. True. Ch I've been saying this. Dale. Whoa. There you go, buddy. My gift to you. Uh, holy shit. What, did you actually dead. draw into something good? Yeah, I think you I think you might be dead. <laughs> uh Okay, um I'm going to normal summon Fairy Tale Sleeper. All right. I am going to equip it with United We Stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, fuck. That's big. That's I a will big attack your token for uh 5850 here. Ouch. Well, that puts uh, a damper on my little red ra little red wagon. Um, go ahead. Well, I'm going to go ahead and activate its mask <laughs> to spell on your United We Stand. That's interesting. And then I'll set a card. Uh, sure. There we go. I just gotta hope you don't have H heated, or yeah, I really am dead. Also, I should probably, if you want to get rid of Defender at this point, now that you're more, it's, do <laughs> it's doing a lot of work for me, if I'm being honest. It's like it's fine. He can't get over twenty seven hundred. I'll just keep stalling, and now you have more than that. Mm. I'm going to attack. The new one. That's fine. It's just Dread Dragon. Shouldn't have done that, yeah. You know. It's like that thing. Right, Dread, Dread Dragon Beyond. <laughs> oh! Okay. This is interesting. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Defense mode is where I exist. It's where I live. Defense mode dot deck. Whoa. Oh, son of a bitch, that's crazy. <laughs> you don't have any more zones to summon anything, Joseph. What can you possibly do? Uh oh, I've got some plans. Let's see him, buddy. I'm prepared. I'm ready. I was born ready. While you were still learning to spell your name, I was already mm. conquering this game. Mm -hmm. How do I want to do this? Boop, boop, uh, boop. I'll, I'll go to combat. Um, I've got time. That's uh, what you I'll think. get the, uh, the humanoid slime. No, my water monsters. It had, a, it had an extra 200 attack. Go ahead. Uh, I probably don't need a rival up here. Probably not. Um, there we go. Yep. How many more turns would that be? Probably not enough to really make this worth it, would it be? Um, let's go ahead and just summon this. this card? Uh, go to the graveyard, please. Okay, well. There she goes. Off she goes. Away. 
Let's just go ahead and hit over this. Mm -hmm. No more buzzsaw for you. Get banished. Um, what do I want to do? do? Do I want you to keep drawing cards at this point? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're fine. For now, I think that was your only big like attack thing. Oh, that was a crazy rip. Oh, that was so Have another nuts. one. Rip all you want. All right. Sure, the blue flame. All right. Go so here. Get attack in. Do you have to send it to the graveyard? Yep. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Uh, second main, I will set this, and you are good to go. All right. Um... Do I want to do this? Would it be enough? Probably not. This is so tense. I can't believe how tense this is. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> We're going on the uh, the mill you out strategy. Wow. So let's go ahead and try that. Just go Whoa. ahead and get rid of this. Drawing three cards okay. every time. <sighs> Punch in the box. So I'll negate the effect, and then I'm gonna send. Who do I want to send to the graveyard? Tough one. I think I'm gonna send the defender. Well, you don't. You don't want like the cards I'm getting. Uh, you know, I think I'm good without them. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess that's fine. He's a 2400 defense position monster, essentially. Eventually, I mean, mm. I gotta get, I got, I, eventually I'm going to find my way into my dragon ruler. You can banish that all you want, it just makes it stronger. I don't think it does. I, I don't Ooh, know, I haven't that. read the dragon rulers, I ever played during that format. That is rough. I just know banishment stuff happens. At least the punch okay. in the box is gone. Perfect. Okay, Should so finally a monster that can actually out yours. Oh, okay. Uh... I will activate the effect. We're going to tuck this chainsaw insect. Fair enough. Ah, oh, and combat time. Okay. Um, we're going to go snow into the nightmare penguin. Are you worried about me getting a water monster with 200 extra attack? <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to go Shura into the chainsaw insect. More than I'm worried about your guru with no targets. I could still flip stuff down. I can't believe I got to draw there. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hell of a game, I tell you what. It is! I don't like how close it is, despite the fact that I've felt in control the whole time. Yo, what up? <laughs> There's my friend, my good pal. My good pal. And goodbye, Snow. You certainly existed, and now you don't. Are you sure about that? Goodbye, BS Blaster Core. You certainly existed, and now you don't. <laughs> um, uh, okay, fine. That's fine. 13 cards left. We're on turn 35. <laughs> All I gotta do is make it to 47, and I win. True. What are you gonna do? You got anything? You couldn't get over 1,800. What makes I think you can get over 3,000? Oh, I have some tricks up my sleeve. The first is to activate True Nade. Uh, what does this do? T Ooh, let's find out. Ha-ha! Mother! <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Fair enough. Sure. Ugh. These headphones make my ears itchy. Okay. I might be in danger. I was kind of worried go. about that. You're going to love this. Wait, you have another X Hammer Kong. <laughs> I go one. <laughs> what? What? You had two, so many monsters. Three. Don't you have any tribute summons? But Hammer Kong. Four. Go ahead. All right. And Hammer Kong, conveniently, sends a card at the end of every turn. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I mean, you only have six monsters, but that's that's fine. Um. Do 
Drillroid, A. A. B. C. D. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this up, too. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. So, Drillroid, we're gonna get rid of your face down without actually doing anything about it. It actually won't. Uh, I'm gonna activate Impenetrable Attack. I'm gonna target my set monster. Um, oh, I thought it, I, I assumed that had to be a face-up monster. Yeah, me too. Then I read the card. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Interesting. Well, you really don't want this thing dying, whatever it is. Well, I don't want it dying just yet, now. It's thinking about it. Or did you select it? Really it really is. Okay. <laughs> does that not count as being flipped? No, it does. It does. Well, then. Get him out of here. Unfortunate. Let's go ahead and just get over this. Sure. No more Hammer Kong for you. Um, we're going to set a card. And... It's like, oh boy, I could flip your shit face down. Why the hell would I want to do that? <laughs> You've got no, no, nothing no, but come flip on. monsters. Uh, it's, it's good. It'd be good. All right. Oh. Nothing gets to you. Staying fresh, staying cool. Perfect fucking timing. With mental fresh, it's full of life. Let's see what my extra looks like. <laughs> you and your extra deck. I still, it keeps reminding me, it's like, hey, you could summon Space Insulator. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I ain't gonna. Oh, you Can get to summon like, here. anything, man. <laughs> snow? All right. Yeah, I don't suppose you pulled a Gren Maju to Isa, did you? I did not. I pulled one of those last season and in like three snow and spent the entire season trying to get it off and just could not. We're going to normal Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind here. Going to Gale. We're going to tuck this guy down. Uh, okay. Wait, I thought, uh, oh, this is a quick effect. If you control another sub terror. Ah, important. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I was like, it's fine. Combat. I can just flip you face down. No big deal. I'm going to walk in here to clear off a zone. Oh. All right. Take more I'm damage. Like That's this. fine. Um, I'll allow it. I'll allow it this time. And we're going to go like this. Ouch. All right, go ahead, buddy. All right. Um, let's see. 18 and 13. Do, do, do. Let me look at my graveyard real quick. Who exists in there? Who's a good boy? Let's go ahead and normal summon this. Okay. Discard that. <laughs> there he is. There she is. There they sure. is, perhaps? That's I'll just, um... Oh, for some reason I thought that got me back something. Oh, well. How it's... many dragons do you have? Many. How many of them are good? Almost none of them. <laughs> That's you why I'm playing stuff remaining. like Divine Dragon Apocryphal. That's fine. Hmm. Alright. Battle phase. Hit in. 26 to 13. Sure. Hit in. 2000 to 1850. Uh, so I'm going to macro here. Uh, I'm going to rush recklessly. Oh, okay. Uh, fair enough. Touche. Ouch. My most of me. Um, have I already summoned this turn? I have. Okay. That's fine. Ooh. Only ten more turns. Come on. I'm almost there. I just need to survive. I, I will survive. 
as long as you know how to live I know that I'm not jive thinking you're good oh wait the set comes oh, okay oh and I my graveyard has no more uh, dragons or waters well that's the idea there we go Back to defense mode, baby. All defense deck. It's all I pulled. It's all I have. Let's see if we can crack this sucker open. Uh, Jane into the set card. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if I can beat that. Let me check the grade. Am I going to end up? Is this, I was joking about the mill earlier. but <laughs> I seriously think I might not have an answer to that. Surprised you don't have any more. Well, I guess tributes don't really help in this instance. No, they don't. This Jane is going to fuck me up. <laughs> I remember being there. And you what, you had like three different things and people were like, no, no, pick the Jane. Um, I guess just set more stuff. Okay, yeah. Seven more turns. We got this. Also, if you're watching this and you're like, this is a really, really long and slow duel, it, it speeds up exponentially. By the time we get to episode three, there's like actually good stuff. This series is wild, but these first duels, this is like, I have very distinct memories of like hanging out with my cousin and playing games like this. <laughs> Where it's like, one guy has a monster that can't be destroyed by battle and I have no removal. <laughs> Fuck. I think I'm... Uh, are you... Are, what's going on? Uh, it went to your draw phase. Oh, no. Don't tell me it froze this late in the duel. Hell, yeah. Fuck. We're gonna have to move these to dueling networks. <laughs> no, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. It's letting you go now. Still says waiting on my end. Battle phase. Uh, yeah. Shit. All right. Why are you attacking my face down things? They mean you no harm. <laughs> Scarecrow plus, what the fuck was that card? Adhesion. That doesn't do it. Nope. At least I'm getting rid of the useless cards out of your deck. Yep, we'll go. I believe you cut you're like, why are you playing this card? This is an awful card. Now you know. Blue Brawler. He's like the blue bomber. There it is. Ah, that's what I needed! That was my only out left! What blind Fuck. obliteration? <laughs> no, that was two outs in a row. Atmosphere and obliteration. Fuck me. Oof. Ah. Uh... Well. Unfortunately, like the... I think you got this one. The Light Sworn and the Macrocosm. Ay, ay, ay. Yep. The stall. Well. Wow. Well, uh, that's what it took, Hard Leg. Uh, you had to pay off the Edo Pro Shuffler to get you into a game where you started with uh, Torrential and uh, copy <laughs> yeah, of... Honestly, to be oh, fair, it could, have been, it could have been anyone. It could have been either of us. <laughs> These early uh. duels. But at least we got to see an old-fashioned mill. You don't see those very often. I don't think in Man, the progression. I'm so if, if I had just not summoned Jane, I had I was winning a hundred percent of that time. Oof. God, that's so terrifying. Uh. Uh. All right. Well, there's the first episode. I claim the first chaos coin, which uh, if you missed last time, not only do the chaos coins win you something, but they do offer a benefit in this season. The for every chaos coin you get, you can redo one pack every episode. So I can like. You know, I'd re-roll if I don't get anything good. But you, of course, as the loser, get double the rewards. You get a lot of... You get to ban one card. Although I have no idea what you would ban from my deck. <laughs> you have no idea? Blue Brawler? Title? No, absolutely not. I mean, that's what won me the oh, game. I've, I've, I've got one in mind. Oh? You want to share it now or save it for next episode? Ooh, what what do you think? What's what's better for content purposes? Uh, I think go ahead and say it now. I'm curious to see. All right, buddy, this is gonna shock pretty much no one, but uh, 
I'm hitting that abominable unchained <laughs> soul. Get what? that now fucking that... card out of here. If you get a Gradle, that thing's not scary at all. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, I have two great. I have two boss monsters. One of them's gone. And of course you get uh you get three bonus packs next week, and you can pick any oh, main fun. set or side set. If you want to open hidden arsenal, you go for it, buddy. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> There might be good, or whatever the set that uh, Sky Strikers are in. I'm sure you can't Ooh. construct a Sky Striker core from just three packs, but you could you could try. But if I lose like five times in a row, maybe I can. Yeah. <laughs> it might work. But either way, we've been here long enough. Joseph, it has been an honor to duel. I look forward to the next one. And until then, good luck. Snap. And you better enjoy that single challenge <laughs> coin. That's the only one you're getting, buddy. <laughs> Oh hey, welcome to the end screen. If you're new to the channel, this is where I take a moment to thank all the patrons who made this show possible. I run minimal ads on these videos, so it's mostly their support that allows me to make great content like this. Every one of them is awesome in my book, but I'd like to give a special shout out to all those who donated $25 or more last month. Their names are Davon Crushin, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, Yellow, Yami, Austin Glover, Chris W, Death's Dancer, Mark Jackson, Montrai, RP96 Joe Star, CD Games, Chris Kessler, Dancing Joker, Diotic, Matt, Muffin Fiend, Nathan, Nerozard22, Nightfang, Penumbra Eterna, Kirvin, Quintingent, Sean Griggs, Tayo no Kitsune, 3 do 9 Trevor F, and Weirdest Hickory. If you'd like to join them, the Patreon link should be on the screen and linked down in the description as well. Every little bit helps, and you get cool rewards for every tier. Regardless, thanks for watching this far, and until next time, stay frosty, Legos.